Hello, this is the coding teacher, and I'm here with a five minute leap code series where I go through uh, explaining a leap code in five minutes and then take however long it takes to implement it. Uh, today I'm going to be covering this one. It's the first uh, 2D matrix problem that I cover. These are um, people have a hard time with 2D matrix, 2D arrays for some reason, and they actually do come up quite often in interviews, and it helps to be familiar with how to work with them. So in this one, they'll give you a 2D array, right? And they want you to search for a value in an efficient way in an n by n matrix okay the catch is like the, the only efficient way to search for a value in a you know with no, in a matrix with no restrictions is just going one by one right but in this one they tell you that the integers in each row are increasing and that the the first number is greater than the last number of the previous row okay so with that you can actually take a couple of approaches right so you can let's say that you're searching for the number um 16 you can be you can go in this direction from start to finish and look ahead one so you see if the starting number of the next row is greater than your target number greater than 16 then you look for in your current row in this case that's not the case so we move on and then we move on now we're looking at this one so we check the starting number of the next row 23 right is that greater than 16 yes so we're actually going to iterate through this whole row and see if we can find 16. then the that one has a difficulty of you know it's cumbersome it's going to be some cumbersome code to detect to find numbers in the last row it's going to be kind of like a manual hard coding of an edge case um if you actually go in reverse order it'll be much cleaner code so if you start from here from the end from the last row and check basically check if your number is greater than the target number you can move on in this case um 10 is not greater than my target number of 16 so i'll search and then once i've searched a row i can return and i don't have to search anything else okay so that's going to be the basics of my solution and also um, in the beginning um you got to check for edge cases always ask your interviewer should i worry about edge cases and you know then just do what they say so some edge case that i can throw in here if there's not a matrix or um matrix dot length equals zero and then ask the interviewer how to how to handle the edge case in this case i think it's pretty straightforward since the output of the function is just a true or false um return false and then, so let's go ahead and let's uh, write a loop that starts from the last row. That row equals matrix dot length minus one. Keep iterating so long as row greater than or equal to zero, and row minus minus. And then, what am I going to do inside this uh, loop? So, if matrix row zero like i said right like the, the easy way to think about this is if it's greater if the first element is greater than the one i'm looking for let's move on so the easy way to think about that in my opinion is that so is greater than target um then we're just gonna continue continues the keyword that just skips to the end of the loop um and then we're gonna say for let column equal zero column is less than um matrix row call or no matrix row dot length column plus plus then um if matrix row call equal target return uh true okay and then we have to like at the end return false so this has a little problem that i'm still this is a simple solution but it has a little problem that you know once i do this one i'm gonna in this case i'm gonna continue iterating so in this in, in, let's say that in the case that we're doing the 16 right um we're looking for 16 so we start here it's greater than 16 so we move on we start here it's not greater than 16 so we look for it in here right and let's say that it was 17 instead of 16 so and i didn't find it so we're looking for 17 didn't find it then we're going to move backwards and look for 17 here too even though we shouldn't okay so let's i'm going to see if i can find a quick and easy to understand way to optimize that but let's um submit this first okay so i actually submitted it and it did accept it 
and it's faster than 99.3.43% of JavaScript submissions. But I wonder if doing this, you know, so because when, whenever we're finding an element that's greater, we're doing continue, right? We're skipping to the end of the loop. What if I do this? If I didn't find it in that row, I, I, I know to, I know I can return right away. So let's try that and see if that'll still work. <laughs> That's funny. That should that should definitely be faster runtime. Uh, it still works. It should definitely be faster runtime. We can get rid of this one because now our loop always either continues or returns. Um, so we know that we're going to have... Actually, no, we don't know that we're going to have return value because we could continue, 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 continue forever. And then we still need this return false out here. This is just a, like an optimization. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's it for the solution. I hope that was informative. And if it was, hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.